pilgrim. <laughs> we're two weeks into the Chamon, and we're starting to embrace the French pilgrim life. But as we leave Conk, we walk into a brutal heat wave, which means early mornings and sweaty afternoons. This popular section of the walk goes through the prehistoric Kersi region, visiting the medieval cities of Figiac and Cajors. Follow along as we sweat our way to Santiago. I'm Lainey. And I'm Sean. And this is Days We Spend. Good morning on day 10. We are leaving Conk. We're about to have one of the worst uphills we've ever had, apparently. Oh, I can see it. It's there, just off trail. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> getting out of Conk. And then it's apparently pretty smooth sailing from there today. So I'm gonna put this away and start breathing because up that we go. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Okay, I think the worst of the climb is over. Still got a long ways to go, sun is coming up, but at least we tackled that real steep incline. I'm gonna put the meters we climbed in the distance here. <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> Make sure you go the right way. Once you get over that hill, the walk out of Conk is lovely. Sample mousse syrup. Biggest hamon bear sandwiches ever for four euros each. That's the exact size of my forearm. <laughs> Taking these to go for later. <laughs> I think today is the Feast of San Roque, which is amazing, San Roche. There's this little chapel up here that's gonna have a service outdoors and then a picnic but I think it's a little too late for us to try to join but that'd be amazing it's gonna be in a couple hours Hamon Hamon Bear how do you say Hamon Bear ham and butter Oh. We're sticking to the GR65, which doesn't actually go through to Casaville. We kind of just go around it. If it wasn't as hot, I would have definitely done this detour to go through the town. It's supposed to be kind of cute, actually, in town. But it's just uh, a heat wave. No, it's August. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is brutal. It's just all concrete and super steep. Yeah. This is uh, not a very fun way to get to a city. Oh my God, look at my crying sweat. <laughs> right at the top of the climb to Saint Roche, there's this Gite Saint Roche. And oh my, they have 
Donativo syrups and coffee and it's just a perfect little oasis, especially after all the concrete and the climb. People are so nice. We've walked this so far. Woo! All right, so the morning started with a pretty steep climb out of Livina. Not as bad as I was expecting because it's still really early, but this morning light is beautiful. That also means it's wicked humid. So we're gonna jump on our day to Fijiak. It's a short day, it's only 23 kilometers, which will be really nice to have a little break from the heat this afternoon. I've been sleeping really badly the last few nights. It's just so hot where we're staying. Oh, and this view is so nice. Look! <laughs> Every place is boiling. There's no fans, there's no AC. I don't expect AC because this is Europe and <laughs> it's not that common and it's expensive. But there's not even a fan. So I've been kind of dying because if we open the windows you get eaten by mosquitoes. I'm feeling kind of low about the Camino right now and that's gonna happen. You go through highs and lows, and right now I'm just kind of going through a low. Or I'm frustrated with the temperature. I'm frustrated that I can't sleep. And I know once I get a good night's sleep, I'll probably feel a whole lot better. All right, keep trucking. Donativo little pilgrim stop in Montredon. Perfect. <laughs> oh no! The corn got me. It's very wet. Run, run, run! Oh man, I'm so wet. <laughs> Got absolutely destroyed by this irrigation hose. <laughs> Just found a fountain to wet everything because it is hot. Go 7.8 kilometers left to Fijia. Oh. I tried to order <laughs> coffee ice cream with Roquefort ice cream, and the man went, he, he said, you only combine those if you're trying to commit suicide. <laughs> so I got the stash. I have geranium and lavender, and I'm in heaven right now. And it was worth a really hot day. <laughs> it was the best ice cream ever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I what are you doing? I'm going to look. I'm just like the longest arms. It, it's a video. Can you say yeah. something in French for us? <laughs> in French? Comment did you have say? A mm. uh, message. Un message en français? Ouais. <laughs> uh, C'était un plaisir d'être avec vous. Ah. Yes. We're the first ones to check into our Donativo Gite. Hans and Laura are at a different place because there was no spot that had four beds. So we had to split up two and two. So Sean and I are at the Donativo, run by a very sweet couple. Check-in was at four, so 
We had to wait till they were open, carry our bags around town. But now we've showered, picked out our beds, I'm journaling, and we found these really weird beers. <laughs> but all is much better now because we've cooled down. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to start really early so that we don't have to deal with as much heat but also we just have a really long day tomorrow we checked in right there and had our syrup it was delicious <laughs> well i dumped a bunch of <laughs> child's rehydration salts into my syrup <laughs> so this is our jeep behind us spin this is the river that's Fijiak. And we have the most charming hosts. They've done the Camino a bunch of times. Dinner was all in French. It was quite difficult. They're very forgiving. Dinner was ridiculous. So delicious. And they're just so sweet. It's like a little donativo run by a husband and wife. And they love pilgrims. They know what pilgrims need. They are pilgrims. Gite du Carmel. Gite du Carmel if you're in Fijiak. Mm. We gotta keep these kind of places around. This place is awesome. Oh, is it twirl time? Wow! <laughs> I love hiking in the early mornings. I hate waking up. I love walking early. Today, I know it's like 6.45 right now because the sun's already coming up, which actually feels kind of late for the distance we have to do today. I love it. I gotta do this more days. Beat the heat. Get that beautiful morning light. Yeah! Good morning, pilgrims. Almond syrup, for sure. My new favorite. We walked by a farm and this guy was picking fruit and he walked all the way across the field with his fruit basket and he's like, Pilgrims, do you want some nectarines? They're so good. <laughs> and they go really well. The black pepper cookies. We bought in town. Mmm. So it's 11.40. And we've walked 20 and a half kilometers. Bonjour. We're making great time today because it's hot. We're in Grelo, Grelu. I have no idea how to say Shrelo. I'm really sorry for my bad French. So time to get some water and some food before the last 10 kilometer push to Kajark. Gotta bring a knife for your picnics. Take a break, and I instantly have a moth friend. We've got about six kilometers left. Finish out our 31K day. It's quite hot, so we're huddling in the shade. One last good push to get us there. And Lainey's gonna bring her moth. I don't think uh, the Jeets allow pets though. No, I think I'll leave them behind. Okay. I'll let them be free. Go on, geet. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Lainey just got rid of her moth friend. She said, be free. She made it all the way to me. 
So I guess we have a moth now. I name him Mothra. <laughs> we'll work on that. Do you miss your moth? I know they're on my head, right? <laughs> yeah, he's having a good break on your head. <sighs> this is Mothview. He's been hiking with me for about a kilometer and a half. I tried to get him to go away, but he just likes drinking my sweat. So me and Matthew are going to Kajak. crazy cliff on the way into Kajark. You can feel the cool air just radiating out of it. There was a little cave spring and the water was moving. So we wet our buffs and oh, so nice and cold. <laughs> Sweat and water. <laughs> another day, another glace. I have lychee rose sorbet and violet. I'm in heaven with these French ice cream flavors. Okay, so this bridge right here, these guys are about to jump off of it. Good morning, pilgrims. I'm very perky considering that we've all had really bad sleep because it's hot and nowhere has AC or even fans. So we're ready to go. We are in Kajark and we are walking to Varej. It's about 27 and a half, 28 kilometers. It's a heat wave, so it's 6.40 a.m. We gotta go. This is really rocky to really watch your step. Whew. Beautiful oak trees though. So on the way to Limon, Lemoniac, Lemon Town, and we saw this little shelter on the side of the road, really well built. And then as you look closer, you're like, oh, the, the roof tiles are sh actual shells, Camino shells. Very nice. It's a shelter. It's a shelter. Shelter. Everyone is here together eating sandwiches. We're kind of sick of sandwiches. <laughs> so it's 11.40. We're just leaving Limon and Kessi. <laughs> and it's about 28 degrees out. It's supposed to get to 32 today. So we have about 8 kilometers to our destination, Varer, and we are just trucking trying to get there as fast as we can because our Jeet has a pool! <laughs> One o'clock, 27 and a half kilometers done. Time to collapse. You take this vial with salt into the boot bath. party the only thing open in town oh it's gonna be delicious <laughs> when it's this hot outside i'm cutting off the tags and the flaps on my hat <laughs> anything to make it better this heat wave is killing us 
every night, no AC, we're barely sleeping, there's no fans anywhere. The reality is getting up really early in the morning and then hiking until one is because that's just out of necessity. I don't want to go that fast. We just have to go that fast. 6.15, we're leaving Ferrer. And it's too dark for you to even see this. So we just did about five kilometers to Bach. So we have 26 kilometers where everything and all the services are off the trail. And because of the heat and trying to beat the heat with the timing, we don't have time to go off trail to get stuff. So I've got over three liters of water on me right now. <laughs> We're walking 32K today. It's supposed to be 37 degrees later this afternoon. It was really hot last night, so it didn't cool down at all. So we're up early. We're walking fast. We're not filming a ton because it's too hot. So there actually is water on the trail. There's this beautiful little pilgrim rest stop about halfway. So we're about 15 kilometers from Cahors and hiding from the sun. What kind of mistakes did you make about the sandwich? Bad bread, bad cheese. Every day our sandwiches get a little bit worse. <laughs> Better work on it tomorrow. The sweat tears are back. <sighs> Hours. I thought we'd never make it. I think we're gonna die in the heat. too hot. I think we're going to melt tonight. <laughs> These are our wives. These grown women are our wives. <laughs> I was wondering how that was going to resolve. Oh, I went the long way. I could have went the shorter way. Hello. The ghosts are coming. Avoid the ghost. Avoid the ghost. You can't go that way. You just got eaten. I have the footage to prove it. 